Hey guys, Shane here, CryptoFish YouTube channel. So today we're going to go over how to mine Raven coins since it's been newly added to Mining Pool Hub. See you in a bit. Alright, real quick guys, before we go on, be sure to subscribe, hit that notification bell below. We've got a couple videos coming out every week. Uh, speculative coin mining, a little bit on trading, uh, how to mine videos, stuff like that. So if that's the kind of thing you're interested in, be sure to subscribe. And if you do like this kind of content, hit that thumbs up. I'd appreciate it as well. All right, so Raven Coin. It's been out for a while. Um, if you're new to cryptocurrency, um, a little overview on Raven Coin. Scroll down here a little bit. Uh, what is Raven Coin? Raven Coin is a peer-to-peer -peer distributed ledger protocol that handles the creation, management, and transfer of asset tokens basically money, digital money. Ravencoin makes tokenization simple and secure. So basically like a lot of cryptocurrencies, um, you're able to take fiat, turn it into Raven, send it to somebody else who's got a Ravencoin wallet, and then they can you know, exchange it, put it on exchange, pull it out to fiat if that's what they wanna do, or obviously going forward in the, in the uh, future Hopefully, people will be able to use Ravencoin to buy goods and services. I'm pretty sure there are things that you can buy with Ravencoin right now, but that's not important. Not the point of this video. All right, so how to mine Ravencoin. It has been recently added to Mining Pool Hub. Ravencoin Pool is now open. The fee right now is 0% for five weeks up until May 31st. So we got a few more weeks left on this. Um, so that's why I'm making this video. So if anyone out there is mining Ravencoin, you may want to think about switching to Mining Pool Hub so you can get a little bit of re relief here on fees from other pools, at least for a short while. So first, what we're going to need to mine Ravencoin is the wallet, which is right here. Um, you can download right there for Windows. I'm on Windows, so that's what I downloaded. Also. They have it on Zellcore, which is a multi-coin wallet. Um, basically download this and you can put Bitcoin on there, Ravencoin, Ethereum, Ethereum Classic, things like that. Many, many different coins you can put on there. You can do that as well. But we'll pull up my NVIDIA rig right now. And I've got the Raven wallet going right here. So once you click on... Uh, Windows 64 zip right there and you download it. I put it in my wallets folder Just call it Ravencoin. You'll go into here Double click on that. You'll go into the bin folder double click on Raven QT and like I uh, said right here This is what it looks like pretty simple. So you can go over to here click receiving addresses I've done a couple experiments with this. I've had this Ravencoin wallet for a while uh, but you can either create one, click new, and call it whatever you want. It'll give you a unique address, and that's probably about the easiest way to go. So you just click new, type whatever label you want in there, click OK, and it'll give you an address. But I've already done it. I don't want to create another one for the hell of it. So you're going to need an address. So once you get that, create a new one. You just click um, copy the address. So we will minimize that now for Ravencoin I'm using crypto dredge as my miner and we will minimize this in a sec and I think crypto dredge is right here again all these links should be down below this video so don't worry about searching for anything along with both .bat files Windows batch files so you're gonna click Windows download right here CUDA 10 version is the one I always choose even though I've got an older version of 18, I think the newest version, what is it, 19? Yeah, 19 is the latest version. My older version will work. It's not really a big deal. So I download that file, put it on my um, miners folder, called it uh, Crypto Dredge 18 Ravencoin. I do that. I always put the version here, at least I've been starting, just so I know what I'm working with. So you go into here and... There's a run file right here. When you first download it, that won't be here. You're going to create it. So you can open up a notepad file. And then you're going to paste this information in here, which again is right below this video and is labeled. 
So only thing you're going to need to change for a uh, mining pool hub is you're going to leave that just like it is. Again, if you want to use mining pool hub, leave that alone. Uh, if you want to change pools, here is a list of Ravencoin pools. Again, that will be below this video as well. Pick any one you want, but the purpose of this video is a uh, free fee from Mining Pool Hub. So I would go with that right now. So anyways, once you sign up for Mining Pool Hub, you're going to get a username. So let me get back over to Mining Pool Hub. Mine is Ritz a Million. And so let's go down and it'll actually show you in here. If you scroll down, click on Ravencoin and scroll down here a little bit. It'll show you how to set it up yourself. See, there's the um, pool address and then your username and worker name. Username is your username, what you'd use to sign up for Mining Pool Hub and then dot worker name, when my case would be dot NVIDIA rig, could be dot whatever you want to call it. Um, that's totally up to you. So like Ritz a million, say your username is uh, Pepe, it would be Pepe.NVIDIA rig and that would be all you needed. You don't need a wallet address. Only time you would need a wallet address is when you're cashing out, which then you would go over to wallet. You would enter your wallet address right there, your payout threshold, and I've got a four digit pin set up right now. And boom, once it hits that four digit or uh, five Raven coin threshold, it auto automatically pays out to my wallet. So I only got 3.33 here right now. So in about 1.7 Raven, automatic payout. So that's as easy as it is right there. So you would, instead of taking your wallet address and putting it right here, you would pull that wallet address you just got from your Raven coin wallet, go over to Mining Pool Hub, paste it in there, put whatever threshold you want, put in your four digit pin, which you use when you sign up, create when you sign up, update account and it's set and ready to go. Um, AMD rigs, I don't advise mining Ravencoin on AMD, it's not very profitable, but if you want to, here's wild rig, again the BAT file for that, the Windows batch file is down below. So let me minimize this. So once you get this all set up and ready to go on your notepad file and you pasted all your information in there and you got your username set up ready to go you're just going to click file save as you would do the same type thing for the amd rig and for the purposes of this video i'll call it run one dot bat make sure it's dot bat it'll become a windows batch file when you do that so there it is run one let me close that out and there's the file we just created. So I'm gonna pull this miner up, if it'll stop being laggy. All right, so here's the miner running, finally pulled up. Let me close out of that. And here's the file we just created, run1.bat. So all you gotta do at that point, double click on it, Crypto Dredge will pull up, which is the miner, and it'll start mining. Should get a share here in a second, hopefully. Which will, there we go, boom, already got a share. So like I said, you always wanna go over to the pool, whatever pool you choose, and make sure uh, your worker is being recognized on the pool. So on Mining Pool Hub, you click workers, and a little check mark means it's active and of course there's nvidia rig my worker so that's as easy as that guys i'm also mining ethereum classic on here i've been mining ethereum classic here for the past probably two weeks now week and a half just building that back up again and raven coin got a little monero and bitcoin gold left over but you got a decent amount of coins you can mine on mining pool hub this is a solid pool been using this since i started mining uh, on and off and never had any problems with it, never had any problems with payouts or anything like that. So good solid pool. All right guys, um, I guess that's gonna be it for today's videos. If you guys have any questions or comments, put them down below. As always, I'll get back to you. Again, if you like this video, hit that thumbs up. I would appreciate it. And um, again, if you're new here, be sure to subscribe guys. Hit that notification bell, all right? With that, I'll see you in the next one. Take care, bye.